How's it going, YouTube? Dr. Slacking, the Slacking Doctor, back again with our Pokemon Fire Red Dr. Luck. And I have been having the best day today, literally such a good day. So I'm pretty hyped to be back recording right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I got in tonight, it's been a long day, it was an early start for me this morning, but I got in tonight and I was like, I want to record, I want to record, I'm really feeling it. I've done nothing between episodes, so I'm going into this pretty, pretty raw, pretty unprepared in a lot of ways. Um... I can't even remember. I'm going to do a quick team recap, just checking PP here, so we're pretty cool. I think everything's pretty much healed up, apart from Mariabella. We added Hugo to the squad last episode. I don't think there's anything else really we need to be doing. I'm going to put Zacharias out front. I know Georgios is a little underleveled, but at the minute I just don't see uh, him really being that useful anyway. Oh, something is going wrong. I'm going to make a quick cut here. Not the best result. I'm going to make a quick cut because I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, in-game Doctor is, is not playing along. So I'll be back in just one second. And I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I Not a Scooby-Doo what went on there. That was, that was pretty weird, but in-game Doc is playing along now. We're all good. I seem to be back in control. Um, I, I literally don't know what happened. Nothing else pressing was working, so... Some sort of controller issue, but I'm going to be real with you here. I don't know Celadon City very well. Um, first thing I want to hit up is I want to see what TMs are for sale. If I can even tell from the randomizer what they are. Like, we might have to kind of do some reading of the text and try and figure out what, what everything is. Um, the user looks onto the foe, making the next move sure to hit. So that's like a lock on or whatever. A self-healing move that restores half the full HP on the next turn. Oh, wish! Just realised it says in the bottom left corner. If you'd already seen that, I hadn't. Um, so, right, we've got Lock On, Wish, Acid Armor, Body Slam, Meditate, Poison Gas. Um, I might, wouldn't mind Wish in some respects for this kind of a playthrough. I've mentioned it a few times. Like Having the healing option with your, with your Pokemon themselves would be nice. Um, but I'm not going to spend too much money on that right now. It's worth remembering for future reference, Wish is here. I don't think I'm going to bother looking through any other floors. I think that's the only TM floor, so I don't think anything else is really that relevant. Like I said, this is kind of... I know the early part of the game pretty well, because as a kid I would play through the early part over and over, but I wasn't particularly good at the game, so... Now's where I start to be a bit like... how Okay, so I need to get the poker for that, which I'm sure I get by doing Silvco and stuff. Um... So I think the next step is either to take on the gym leader or to do the Silvco, which I thought was, I must be going mad, I thought it was like in the um, gambling bit, in the casino, like behind a poster. Am I going bonkers? No, here we go. Okay, okay. So, ooh. Didn't expect that. Um, I'm not too worried. Not too worried at all. Here we go. Zacharias. Getting to use that ancient power. Only 5 PP. That's that's not good. Um, having our rock type stab be so limited on PP. That's disappointing. Um, that's life, I guess. Zacharias is still very powerful. Oh, I'm going to hit that ancient power again. Even though I don't really want to use the PP for it. I'd rather save it. But, you know. That's, that's life. That happens. Might as well get the one shot for definite. Um, does he move now when the Team Rocket hideout might be discovered? I better tell Boss. Where did he go? I'm assuming it's... Let's push it. Right, so I think we do this before the gym. Right? Does someone like... Is there a guy... Is there a weird guy stood in front of the gym and he won't let you in? Because... Hey, that's that's how the game was written, I guess. I don't know. I'm not even going to go into all that. <laughs> Um, I think so. I think that's the case. A repel. That would do me. We got anything hidden in the tree? Nope. I'm not fighting you. There's really no need. I always feel like there's going to be things in the trees. And there is. There we go. I'm glad that that wasn't just wasted time. Um, okay, is there anything? Can I see if there's anything good in here? By kind of Right, there's a door that I don't think we can get through yet. So I'll save that guy if I need to do him later. Um, oh, you turned. I think we could have avoided you. Yeah, see Ghost with the Silver Scope. There we go. Kind of getting it. 
again discussed already about the silver scope. He's an easy one shots for Zacharias. Uh, but I started saying a bit of story time while we while we smash through this guy because I don't think we've got any problem. Um, I had an awesome day like today. I got up super early. I, I mentioned at the start of the episode. Um, my whole family we piled into my dad's car. He's got a seven seater. And uh, we took a trip up to Lancaster. If you're from England, that might mean something to you. If you're not, it, it probably won't. Um, we took a trip to Lancaster, which is where I'm doing my, my next bit of university. So I've been up there with, with most of my family today, all day, and it's been like scorching hot for England, which I guess isn't that hot for everyone else, but it's still hot for us. Um, I've just been like up there in the sunshine looking around, and it was a really like beautiful place, really, really nice. Like just good, good vibes, you know, just a good day, really good day, good energy from everyone. I got home and I was like, right, I'm just, I'm in the mood, you know what I mean? I'm just on it today. I'm feeling so good. Um, feeling so hyped at everything. I met with some of my tutors. I got to like talk about the course with them. And it just got me so excited, you know, it got me so excited thinking about kind of everything that's happening this year for me, everything that, that I'm doing right now with, with YouTube and, and, and all this stuff. I was like, I just got a good feeling in the next 12 months. My next stage of uni, this, your whole YouTube thing, you know, I, I think it's going to be so much fun. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to it, you know. I think that's important. I think you've got to look forward to these things. Um, that being said, I need to make sure that I know where I'm going in here. Okay, I definitely don't want that. I think I'm doing this right, which is a complete fluke if I am. Oh, now. Yeah, that doesn't help me at all. I'm going to have to go this way, and then this way, and then around the top. I got this. I found my way through Rock Tunnel last time, didn't I? We're going to be just fine here. We're going to be just fine. I think that's everything. Um, so, quickest way out is going to be something like this. Oh, what's down there? How do I get down there? How do I get down there? This way. Okay. Alright, we got this. We got this. This is too easy. And then, do we go down to the basement? I'm like, this is one of those things where I don't really know what I'm doing until, okay, I think we could go down to the basement later. That's what I'm saying. I see things and I'm like, I recognize that. I think, I'm sure I've been down to the basement in this game. I don't know it off the top of my head. If you say to me, how do you get through Silver Cove? I'll be like, dude, I have no idea. But oh, I don't know why I battled this guy. When I see it, I'm like, okay, I've got a rough idea that the you know, basement's important somehow. But I think we should just be able to plow through all of these. Because, oh, I don't want to take that damage. Because um, Zacharias is just so strong, you know. That's fine. Honestly, Georgios isn't really... There we go. Georgios is just going to be a switch in for things like that. So I don't mind if Georgios takes the paralysis. I'm going to go with Hugo here. I'm going to go. I'm going to risk it. I did have a look. The one thing I did do between episodes was I had a little look at Hugo's level up moveset. It's a little bit disappointing, if I'm honest. Um, it, it, that's nice, though. Nightshade's still doing it. I mean, I know we're a few levels higher, to be fair. But yeah, even though Burnett has a really impressive attack stat, well, pretty impressive, you know, in-game, very respectable attack stat. Um, its speed is probably enough to get by in-game. Its, uh, its move pool was, was a little bit disappointing, but it got me thinking. You know, its only stab move is, is Shadow Ball. It learns a couple of dark moves or whatever that are okay, I guess. Um, I think it learns, like, Pursuit or something like that. But it really made me think that I guess ghost types, you're kind of limited. There's not a whole, like, at this point in the, the franchise, there wasn't a whole lot of great... Oh, we've been um, intimidated. I forgot our attack's been dropped. I probably should have switched out. We are going to switch out this time. I didn't look at what's coming in, but I trust Hugo. Let's, let's get Hugo out here. Chikorita, fine. I'm sure that'll be fine. That's annoying, but, you know, it's cool. It's cool. Um, yeah, the thing about ghost types in this generation, and there just aren't a lot of um, stab moves that are really, really useful. We have Shadow Ball, as we said. Uh, maybe Shadow Claw was a thing at this point. I don't think Shadow Sneak was. Um, which also, as I'm saying it, it's crazy how many of the ghost type moves revolve around the word Shadow. Um, 
as if that's all a ghost is, you know, just an absence of light rather, or, or a blocking of light, I suppose. Which is pretty crazy that, that, that that's what all the moves revolve around. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm going off on a tangent. This way, there we go. And then, where did we come? I think we came down the stairs, so I think we need to go down again. I think we're trying to get to the basement. Oh, I want that item. With it being randomized, you never know what any item could be, so I want all of them. Um, yeah, like, there's just not a whole wide range plethora of ghost type moves that are that good at this point in the game. Really, you've got Shadow Ball, and, and that's about it. As I say, maybe Shadow Claws thing. I think we've got Shadow Punch as a TM at the minute. Um, I don't even know who uses Shadow Punch. I've never really seen that ran before. I don't even know what Pokemon get access to that. And as it is, Ghost type as a stab typing is 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 weird because you're not hitting a whole lot super effectively in a way. I know you're hitting Psychic and Ghost types, but then so does Dark. Um, I know sometimes I just feel like I don't know why, but Dark types better. Maybe I'm wrong. What do you guys think? What's your guys? Oh, I could have avoided this guy. What's your preference? Are Ghost types or Dark types? What what do you guys kind of think is a superior typing? We don't do a question of the day in this series, but there you go. There's your, there's your question for today. Seems like today's been such a different day for me. So much fun. Which which type do you think is superior, both in-game, competitively, or which is just your preference? Ghost type versus uh, dark type, because I feel like they're so similar and so linked in a way. Um, and, they, they, you know, they hit the same types for special effective damage. Uh, or super effective damage, sorry. But I guess now with fairy types, dark types kind of got affected by that. Um, hmm, yeah, I'm intrigued now. What, what do you guys think, ghost type versus versus dark type? Ooh, do we? I kind of want to. I'm gonna just in case. I'm gonna just in case. I'm gonna take this guy, just in case there's a reason that he's sat here being all avoidable. You never know. You never know. You know what game freaks like. Just in case my gut was on point right there. I just had a feeling, I was like, that's too easy to avoid. Why have they made him, like, so optional? Because let me be honest with you, childhood me would have straight up blanked that guy. I wouldn't even have given him the time of day. And then I'd have probably spent three, four hours trying to go around this building like, hey, what do I have to do? Um, I was awful for that. I remember, if you guys have played through uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, when you get to Slateport City, you have to deliver some parts to Captain Stern. So you have to go to the boat yard, and you have to, oh, the shipyard, sorry, and you have to speak to one specific NPC, who, when you speak to him, he he's like a bald-headed guy, and he stood behind a table. I'll never forget this. This is why I know where he looks like in everything. Because I didn't speak to him for months, literally months, and all of my friends had, like, advanced through the game, like, were taking on the Elite Four, and I was still in Sleepport City, and no one could understand why Team Aqua, I think I was playing Sapphire at the time, Team Aqua were like blocking off the museum at that point. Because everyone was like, you've got to go in the museum first, and then you've got to go north towards the cycling route. And all my friends were like, dude, why is your game like blocked off? What's going on? Like, that's so weird. None of ours do that. And it turned out that they had all just gone around and spoken to everyone, being the way they were. And given this NPC the parts you were supposed to give him, and because he was such a nondescript nobody, like I just never spoke to him because to me, like at that point, I just skipped through all text. I never read any text. And uh, going to talk to someone that was optional was like, why? Why? Why would I bother talking to him? And yeah, literally had me stuck for months. I had a like level like fifty swamp up because I was just grinding in the grass there against like level twelve gulpins for for months. It was crazy. Do I have to take on these guys? I think I do. Um, I'm gonna use Zacharias a bit of a rest and switch in Deepak just because I want to, you know, I want to keep the team kind of as balanced as I can. Um, I am a. Ooh, I don't think. Ooh, I'm glad I switched in Deepak because I still think Deepak is probably the fastest member of our team to take that that self destruct. That was crazy. I wasn't even thinking. I saw Baltoy. I was like. Is it going to try and hit me with a um, with an earthquake or a dig or something? Like, I didn't think I'd have an earthquake, but I thought it might have dig or a magnitude. And I was a bit worried about Deepak, but I was like, Deepak's strong. You know, Deepak's bulky. I, I shouldn't worry. Did not see the self-destruct coming. 
Okay. D pack's good. D pack's good. We go again. We go again. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Ooh, it's intense. I'm gonna have to think about that one for a bit. I don't know about that. There we go. Level 30 D pack. Chimeco. I'm not staying in on that. There's no need. There's really no need. Um, it's not gonna be running Shadow Ball or anything. This isn't gonna be a competitive Chimeco. So I'm gonna hit it with that. That did so much. No way, that did so much. I did not see that coming. That was crazy. We nearly lost Hugo straight away. I think we're cool. Ah, oh, come on, Georgios. Ah, oh, burning through these items. At least we got money for this. You know, that's that's the other good thing about taking on trainers and picking up the uh, the items we picked up. Take yourself out, Joe. Where was the recoil? I swear that took like no recoil there. That looked like it didn't. Oh, come on. That looked like it didn't take any recoil to me. I thought it was going to knock itself out with recoil. Okay, here we go. This is the one. This is the one. I got a feeling. George is coming through. Takes it out with so far that time, isn't it? Ugh, I can't speak. Oh, I don't even know. Right, Pikachu. This thing is getting the meanest of wing attacks. Excuse me, but I need to take on water. Like I said, it's been a warm day today. You gotta stay hydrated, guys. You know what I mean? You gotta keep drinking that water. Always. <laughs> Not sponsored by Lucas A Sport this time. I think we had that a few episodes back. I don't even know who we sponsored by this time, in fact. Let's check. I can't even. Aqueo Still Spring Water. Cheap. Uh, cheap. 50 pence a bottle. That's what we like. 50p a bottle. I'm, I am going to take on Giovanni and everything. What are you doing? But I'm just checking. Just checking. Making sure there's no Master Balls hidden away. Um, Zacharias is our most logical lead. Zacharias hits the hardest. Um, most likely just to go in and sweep. Uh, where are the Paralyzed Heals? I've got two left. I don't like that. I'm not going to Paralyze Heal Georgios. I don't see the point. Um, I am going to... Super potion, Giorgio, so because he is bulky enough to switch into some things. Hugo, I'm not, I'm not super potion Hugo. Hugo's not going to be involved because, frankly, if we do Hugo, he's not going to hit anything with his ghost type move that he could even fight. He could fight a normal type, but he's got nothing to hit with, so there's no point. Now we got Di Giovanni. So. I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Well, I mean, that's one way to greet somebody. I tend to go with... You right, mate? But everyone's different. Everyone's different. You know, different styles. That's how it is. Uh, poison point, poison point, poison point. Uh, don't poison me. Okay. Ah, uh, I was thinking because dark type special, poison point wouldn't work. So I could have just wing attack this thing straight from the start. Why did I do bite again? No, 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 no. This has gone badly. This is a bad, bad start. Bad start. Okay, right. Let's get our head screwed on. Best thing to do here is antidote. It's not going to take us down from this range with anything. So antidote up, then super potion. Actually, but poison point is just going to treat... Uh, we've just got to hope poison point doesn't activate. Um... I swear Dark type is special in this game, so why am I getting poison pointed from a special move? That's crazy, that's kind of crazy. Um, let's get the confusion back up. No, we don't want the defense drop, come on. There we go. Right. We are going to heal up again. Yeah, 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 we're going to heal up again. Hope it hits itself again, then we can switch out, get rid of that defense drop. There we go, right, so Nidorina drops. 
That's nice. We are going to switch Zacharias out because I don't want no defense drop. Oddish is coming in. Easy money. Easy money there. That's what we like to see. Yvette now can take this level. Dude, how is Giovanni rolling with just an Oddish and whatever it was we just beat? Nidorina. Seriously? You are the you're the big you're the big bad boss. You gotta come up with something better than an Oddish and a Nidorina. Do you know what I mean? After promising us a world of pain to send out an Oddish is is, is pretty lame. That's pretty weak. Although fun fact, which I know is I feel like this is said every time these two both want to mention, but I know a lot of you probably won't know this. Every time I hear Oddish or Onyx mention some of this video, they always seem to say this, but supposedly, and I'm pretty sure this is true, Oddish's attack stat, its physical attack, is higher than Onyx's physical attack. So you know that great big, like, double-decker, bus-sized, like, 100 million ton rock snake thing doesn't hit as hard as this little blue shrub. Do you know what I mean? That's that's crazy. Like, well, I understand that Onyx has like good defense or physical defense, or whatever. But like, seriously, Game Freak, when you when you were making that, did you not think to yourselves, "Oh, Venusaur"? Yeah, but you don't think to yourself, "This is silly. This is this is a we've been a bit silly here." Do you know what I mean? You look at each other and be like, oh, "That doesn't quite make sense." Do you know what I mean? I mean, I guess they didn't realize at the time. But when they heard, I don't know, if I, if I had made that decision, I'd be like, uh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe, just for sheer weight, Onyx could fall on you, and it would hit harder than an on, uh, than an Oddish would ever be able to hit. Do you know what I mean? If an Oddish ran at you as fast as it possibly could, and an Onyx just kind of fell on you, that would hurt so much more. Like, it's, yeah, sorry, I'm going on about this now, but it's just crazy to me. Oh, I underestimated Venusaur, but... Really? Is that two sweet scents? You had one good Pokemon and you sweet sent it twice with it. The AI in these games. Come on, Giovanni. That was too easy. That was too easy. I know we're still a little over leveled, but that was too easy. Lazy. Lazy Mia. About right. You need to put in some work. What? This can't be. It, it is, mate. It is, mate. You've been bunking off. You have been slacking. <laughs> you have been loafing around. I see that you raise your Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. <sighs> foreshadowing there. Some heavy foreshadowing. Is I feel like this is supposed to be... Is this the Silvscope, right? Good. Good. That's pretty sweet. I like that. We already decided no items down here. That's cool. We're out of here. I completely forgot to time this episode, so I have no idea how long we've been doing this for. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to rush... Come on, man. Give me a break. I just beat the head of your organization. You should be going hiding somewhere. Um, I think I'm going to rush back over, do we do the gym? Actually, if we do the gym, I'll save that. I really don't know what comes next, and I just realized that a Rhyhorn is kind of scary. I'm hoping this thing doesn't roll with magnitude. Okay, we do get the poison. Okay, just grind it down, Deepak. Do what you do, just sit here and be bulky. That's what Deepak's about, out, out living the other Pokemon, out surviving. This guy's going to do it as well. Oh, come on. You're gone. Not quite. Now you're gone. Yeah, I don't know which is next. I assume it's the gym. So if that's the case, we'll probably end the episode here. I think, we're one, I think we've got one encounter that we never got. I think just to the right of this town, we've got one encounter that we never got. So actually... Um, if you guys, yeah, why not? We'll go and get that encounter. We'll get that encounter. Why not? We'll do that. I want to see, though, what the Pokemon in here have been randomized to. Can I win any... Well, who gives me the coin case? Give me a coin case. Someone gives me a coin case, right? Where's... Where's... Is it in here? Who gives me a coin case? Who looks like they would? You. You look like you might. Oh, you're gonna give me coins? You, 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 you. 
No, you. Come on, man. I just want to gamble. What is this? <laughs> I have a problem, please. Yeah. No. Really? I thought they just... Do I just talk to you? Do, if these guys just give me one. I don't have a case. Where do... Ah, oh, this is... Is it this guy? Have I already spoken to this guy? I sat in the corner. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, we're giving up on that. <laughs> that was such a random tangent. Um, I apologise. We're giving up on that. We're not rolling with any coins today. It's fine. we got money in the bank. We don't need to gamble. Gambling. If you're young and you're watching this, gambling's silly. Don't do that. It's not. That's not the one. Well, do whatever you want, to be honest. It's up to you. Togepi is going to be our encounter here. That's interesting. Mm, I don't know how to go about... We're going to go for the poison gas. It's more reliable than yours, he says, as it misses. And the Togepi yawns us. Of course, why not? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you, Togepi? Why wouldn't you, Deepak? Okay. This thing just get all the boosts. Can you wake up and not be confused when you wake up, please? Okay. There we go. That's fine. You can encore us all you want, Togepi. I don't know how to feel about Togepi. I really like Togepi. I really like Togetic. Togekiss? Mmm. It's cool, but like, I don't know. It never. Togetic was always cooler to me. Or Togetic, however you want to say it. I know people pronounce it differently. It was never like, I don't know, it was never the one to me. Togepi was, and Togetic were cooler. Togekiss, not not the one for me. Uh, what do I need? I need random name. I'm so sorry. I wasn't expecting to get an encounter this episode, so I didn't have this up. But that's a quick fix. And what are we nicknaming you? We need a male name. So let's go. What are we getting? Hi, oh, this thing's been broken every time I try and use it. Really? Okay. Oh, we got an Icelandic, Icelandic Togepi here. Uh, it is gonna be Gunnar, the Togepi. Gunnar, Gunnar. We're gonna go with Gunnar. Gunnar Matthewson. Gunnar Matthewson. That's M A T T H E W S O N. Gunnar Matthewson, our Togepi, our Icelandic Togepi. Um, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool, I like that. Um, we will just check Togepi out, and then between the episodes, I'm going to figure out where the coin case is, because I'm, I'm baffled, I can't remember that. So I'm going to look that up, I'm going to find the coin case between episodes, and then we're going to go get another encounter and take on the gym next episode, hopefully. So that should be a lot of fun. We're also going to check out Gunnar now. Impish, uh, that was dropping special attack to boost defense because that was the same as Hugo, I'm pretty sure. Normal type is physical in this game, so again, that's a pretty good nature that's just giving us some extra bulk, so that's pretty nice. You can see that defense there at 41 is by far the highest stat, um, so that's actually not that bad. Serene Grace, this could be interesting, this could be interesting. We'll have to wait and see on that one, but anyway. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again today. It's been a lot of fun. Like I said, I'm just in that mood. I was just ready. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling good too. I hope you've enjoyed. I very rarely say this, but if you are enjoying, please don't forget to leave a like. Please do subscribe if you like what you've seen. If you watch some of the rest of the series, there's going to be more of this and some new content coming. Some new content that I am so so hyped to give to you. Like we're doing some interesting stuff at the minute. Some good things going on behind the scenes. So hopefully that will come out you soon. Anyway. That's not important right now. What is important is I need to say thank you so much for loafing around with me today. And I'll catch you again next time. Mm -hmm.